Jeff Hughes. I'm the Chief of Police in Brentwood, and I'm going to re read from a prepared statement. Today is a bittersweet day for the members of the Brentwood Police Department. This has been an emotional week for all of us. It is difficult to recount the details of June the 18th, 2020, and to watch the videos of this tragic incident again. We trust in the criminal justice system and feel that justice has been served. But there are no winners or losers here today because nothing will bring Justin Legaza back to us. Although we take solace in the conclusion of the trial, there will always be a void in our lives without Destin in it. Please join us in keeping Destin's family in your thoughts and prayers. His family is our family. We want to sincerely thank the Tennessee Highway Patrol, the Franklin Police Department, the Medical Examiner's Office, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigators, and the District Attorney's Office for thoroughly investigating and presenting the evidence in this case which resulted in this verdict. We are truly grateful for their collaborative efforts. Thank you. Kim Helper, uh, District Attorney for the 21st Judicial District. Um, I will actually uh, let Assistant District Attorney Carlin has answer any questions you have, but what I do want to say is during the opening statements by both the state and the defense, there was mention that this was a tragedy. Uh, it was a horrible tragedy uh, that has affected the Legaza family for the rest of their lives. And it was a tragedy that could have easily been avoided uh, had the defendant made that decision, as you heard during the testimony, to get an Uber, uh, to not get behind the wheel of that vehicle, and yet she did. And because of that, Destin Legaza's family is without him for the rest of their lives. Uh, so again, I appreciate the efforts of the jury uh, for deliberating very carefully and thoughtfully and listening to the evidence, uh, and we're grateful for their final verdict. Thank you, General. Um, I'd like to echo the sentiments of both Chief Hughes and General Helper. This was a difficult, long week. Just thankful that the jury was able to hear the truth about what happened on June 17, 2020 and June 18, 2020. And hopefully now the Legaza family, the Brentwood Police Department, and the entire law enforcement community in Williamson County can be given to We've heard you mention that this was a difficult case. We've heard you know, the defense say that this was a difficult case. What do you feel ultimately made the biggest difference here? In the case itself? Yes. The blood results spoke for themselves. Even with the blood, you've got her driving behavior on the wrong side of the road, her headlights off. The defense tried to paint a picture of minimal drinking over the course of the evening, but of course that just didn't match up with the blood results as tested by the team. The blood results were a very, very important part of this case. That's why the state worked so hard pre-trial to make sure that they were admissible. It was important that the jury saw that because the state knew that the defense in this case, once the blood came in, became very, very weak. So that was very important for us. What message do you hope this sends about the human driving to people in Williamson County? Take a cab, get an Uber. It's as simple as that. As General Helper said, this entire tragedy could have been avoided. And as you heard the proof in the case, she was offered an Uber twice, twice, and she failed to take that advice. If she just would have made that one decision, we wouldn't be standing here right now. Mr. Guest, obviously uh, every case is uh, different. What was the, sure. what were the biggest challenges in prosecuting this case? It was an emotional case, right? I mean, there's, there were a lot of emotions at stake on both sides. As you can see, our law enforcement community here in Williamson County is strong um, and powerful. And just balancing the emotions of trying to advocate for the state, but also advocate on behalf of the law enforcement community here in Williamson County, um, you know, kind of drove me as the prosecutor in this case every day to make sure I did everything I could to make sure justice was served in this case. Thanks so much. Thank you all. Thank you.